Hello friends, welcome to Java Swing tutorial. In this example, we are going to see how to use the pre-built jcolor chooser dialog. And in our example, we use a two panel. In this top panel, we will have two button. One is a change background and another one is a change foreground. Then in the middle panel, we will use a jtext area that will occupy the entire space the frame window so in the frame window we add the panel to the north then in the center we will add the second panel and that second panel will have the jtext area so we use jtext area as a set foreground and set background color to set the color for this text area to set the color, um, user can click on these uh, buttons. So say for example, to change the background, they will click this change background. Then we will uh, display a color picker dialog. Then uh, here we have a various method to pick a color. Say for example, if a user wants a uh, yellow background, they will pick uh, in this color patches or they can use any of these tab to pick their favorite color and set the background. So in this video, you will mainly learn about the color chooser and how to show the J color chooser. After that, um, we will retrieve the color from this uh, J color chooser and then we will set the background and four color for the text area. So this example uses uh, J frame, then it uses uh, J text area as well as uh, scrolling it. So you can watch these two videos prior to watching the current video. If you know about J frame and J text area, you can skip these two videos. So the class is a jcolor chooser and swing will provide this jcolor chooser and all you have to do is make a call to the method show dialog so that will be the static method so you no need to create the instance also so you can directly make a call jcolor chooser dot show dialog the method accepts three parameter So if you see here, the show dialog accepts a three parameter. The first one is the parent UI. If you are accessing this uh, J color chooser from frame window, the frame window will be the parent UI. Or if it is a dialog, dialog will be the parent UI. So that we need to pass. Then we can set a title string for our J color chooser. After that, we will supply the initial UI color for the dialog. That means when dialog is displayed, it automatically sets that UI color. So if we pass a blue, the blue will be pre-selected when dialog is displayed. So without doing anything, if user closes the dialog, the dialog will tell that user selected the blue color. All right, now we are making call to uh, show dialog. So the static method will uh, return uh, AWT color object. So we can use this color object to set the foreground and background. So that's all here. We will go to Eclipse and see the demo. Let's open a Eclipse Java XM. So this is our initial window. We resized it. Uh, 
first we will declare a jtext area at a class level we are importing it from java x swing package so our jframe window is uh, using the border layout so in each example we will change the size and position then we will change the layout uh, to suit the need for the example first we will import the panel from awt package We are creating two panel one is top panel and another one is a middle panel top panel is set with flow layout mid panel is set with the border layout next we create two j button from java x swing package one is to change the background and another one is to change the foreground and if you see in top panel a top panel we are housing these two j button controls after this we are setting up our j text area so it has up two parameter one is 30 row and another one is 50 column this one is care width and this will be the row count next we set a font for our uh, jtext area uh, we use vertana font with uh, 16 uh, uh, point next we are setting that font, font. after that we use uh, line wrap and weight wrap style to the text area so these are all already explained in the prerequisite video next we create joe scroll pan and we set uh, horizontal and vertical for the J scroll pen and after that we add our uh, um, J scroll pen to the middle panel if you see when we are creating the J scroll pen we give our text area to add scrolling support for it okay here we add our J scroll pen to the middle pen not the content pen well, because uh, the middle panel is the owner for this uh, J scroll pen. Our panels are ready. Now we will add our panel to the control host. So, control host, if you see, um, we set a border layout. So, we are adding the top panel to the north position and our uh, text area that means scroll pan to the middle of the uh, frame window that means uh, this is added in the center by default if we don't specify position for border layout the control will be added towards the center and occupies the entire area of the center cell now we will run it once you can see the buttons are there and the scrolling support also there so it works well now we will proceed with the next part next we implement a button handler So after typing new, I'm uh, pressing Control Space, and this will show the anonymous email type. The handler is ready for uh, background. We will do the same for foreground.
so color we are importing it from java.awt color choose we are importing it from javax.swim package here if you see we are making call to j color chooser dot show dialog that means the show dialog is a static method on j color chooser object first parameter we are passing j frame demo dot this this means parent for the color chooser is our frame window frame window is the parent and the displayed color dialog will be the child The second parameter is the title for the color chooser. After that, we want to set initial color as white. So this will be the default. So when the color chooser is displayed and if user directly clicks OK, the background color will be white. Next, in the second action performed, we display the show dialog once again. We pass our frame window as the parent. This time, we set a different title, pick foreground color. Previously, it's a big background color for text area. Then, here instead of white, you can specify black. J text area is a class level member, so we are accessing that here. And we say it background color well, because uh, this is action performed for uh, background color button. Similarly, we say it foreground color for our JTA in the other uh, action listener. So that's all our example is ready. Now we will try. First, we will change the background color. If you see, once I click the change background color, it displays the color chooser. You can either pick color from this palette or you can use the uh, color picking method. There are many methods. This one is a hue saturation value based color setting. This is hue saturation lightness and this one is rgb so rgb is the most frequently used one and then hsv also a popular color picking technique then there are other method also cmyk and hsl so you can google it to know to know more about this color picking technique so at present even instead of using rgb i will go go to the standard color swatches and i will pick uh, a green background and if you see our text area is now set with the green background now we will set a foreground and the foreground i will choose a red color so now you saw how to use the color picker dialog that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye